Hello and welcome to another episode of HVAC system design tutorial with the channel of the world of building design. So in this tutorial, I would like to introduce to you the um, system that is a six way valve system, uh, which is a fairly new technology and is uh, newly used in HVAC industry. And uh, it, it makes the, the design of the HVAC system a lot easier and it's very efficient system. So uh, the focus will be on the six-way valve. As you can see from the photo, uh, it shows a six-way valve with an actuator on the top. And uh, how the system works is that um, you can use this in multiple uh, design arrangements. So some of the applications are using it in terminal units or if you have been designing for chilled beams or fan coil units and the, the good thing about this arrangement is that you don't need to have a heating and cooling coils separately in your terminal units or in for example in your fan coil units or chilled beam you can have a single heating or cooling system but you should have a four pipe system so when you have a four pipe system you bring the hot water supply and return as well as the chill water supply and return in parallel to your terminal unit and then you connect it to your um, six-way valve so as you can see you have two sources of uh, hydronic you have source A and source B so on the left hand side you have the source A supply source A return this can be your hot water and as you can see this can be on this side of the, the valve you can also have the a source B which can be your other source whether it's heating or cooling and you have a supply in return and what it is with this system is that you don't have a, a mixture you don't have a mixture between the hot water and chilled water in the valve at all so you have the you have the option to either <clears throat> provide heating to your coil or chill water cooling hydronic depending on the season that you're running your <clears throat> terminal unit uh, you you can run either of this system even if um, the building predominantly working on the heating you still can provide the chill water to your uh, coil for certain area where you want to provide the cooling instead again there is no mixture of the hydronic and it all depends on what modes of operation you're running your um, fan coil or your terminal unit. And as you can see, every valve has its own uh, constant coefficient, as we discussed before, the CV of the valve. So for a six-way valve like this, you are dealing with two separate CV, uh, which are for the, each of the source of your hydronics. So either for CV source A and CV source B and these are not necessarily the same they can be different CV depending on the flow depending on the flow that you need to deliver to your coil because you know that the hydronic fluid to your heating coil the flow is different than your chilled water going to your uh, coil so based on that different in, in flow you would like to set your CV or select a valve with a certain CV uh, to match with your optimum delivery of the hydronic to your uh, coil. How this uh, valve system works is that uh, there is an actuator control that you can see on the top of the valve and this actuator um, is connected to a shaft that, that um, turns the valve. These are the ball valves type system and it provides a half turn, half turn to the valve which either opens and closes either of the sources so with the one turn half you can open say source A hydronic and with another one turn uh, rotation you can open the other half which is your source B hydronic and uh, when the valve closes off it it is uh, in the mid middle stroke so in the middle stroke of the uh, valve shaft that is operated by your uh, actuator um, they are in close off position it means that both heating and coolings are uh, in the closed position and as we said before the heating and cooling uh, fluid are isolated from one another inside the valve and you have 
you can have different CV for each of the valves. Before I show you the actual um, example of how you can envision this in a, uh, in a schematic, um, looking at the advantage of this, as we said before, you don't need to have multiple coil for heating and cooling. You can use a single coil, just distribute the hydraulic heating and cooling uh, to the six-way valve. And by the way, you can control the six-way valve on your building automation system. And the other advantage is that you eliminate on a lot of redundancies, such as coils, such as additional monitoring um, control points, such as additional uh, control valves, actuation, which would otherwise uh, needed for either of heating and cooling coil system. You can just connect all to a single six-way valve and um, easier installation, easier commissioning, monitorability of this uh, six-way valve on the BAS. So there are a lot of advantages to this new and uh, new um, HVAC design strategy. Looking at one of the examples I wanted to show you. Uh, so if you look, we have a six-way valve right here. This is a chill beam type system, a six pipe, uh, a six pipe chill beam system. As you can see from the bottom, we have um, a two sets of hydronic um, riser. We have a heating riser and we have a chill water riser with the green with the green color you see and the red color for the hydronic heating, and they are all coming here as a supply and return connected to two sides of the six-way valve right here. When it's connected, you provide your either cooling or heating to your chill beam. You provide the heating and cooling uh, to your space, to your room, through this chill beam. And as you can see in here, the hydronic heating also is connected to your uh, perimeter radiator close to the window, and you have a control valve and all are connected to your uh, main controller and then eventually connected to your um, and BAS interface. As you know, operating mechanism of a chill beam is that you have to provide the primary fresh air or primary air to your chill beam and uh, through the venturi effect you can do the recirculation of air in here um, through the chill beam coils. And, and as you can see the hydronic heating uh, Hot water goes also to your main um, energy recovery or your main air supply system. And also same thing with the chill water <clears throat> that is going to there too. As you can see, the six-way valve plays a major role here in terms of determining based on the room condition, uh, which modes of operation you're running off of and you have a cooling and heating available to you at all times to the six-way valve which is switching between the two modes of operation. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next tutorial.